You fucking chill, man! What the fuck? This is her win rate right now. 45.5%. Okay, so she's a little bit better than Karma Mid, Rise, and Lucian. This is the lowest Katarina win rate I've ever seen. I've played the champion for seven years. I've never seen her win rate drop below 50% in Challenger and above until like this year. Her win rate in Challenger used to always be like 55% to 60% because it's a niche character that only like one tricks or mains play. And it's a very small percentile of players too that play it. There's usually around like one or two Katarina players, Grandmaster Plus in every server. So usually the champion has a high win rate in high elo, but it's always at like 51 now or 50% challenger, which is not good. That means even the best of the best are uh, struggling with her. They didn't change anything to AP. In fact, they just indirectly nerfed it in the early game. AP is the same thing it's been for the past, like, for the longest time. It's still just awful. The whole reason why we went into the Sunder build path was because AP is awful and you can't carry games with it. You can't start a snowball with AP. It's way too team reliant. You can't, you can't win any lane. You just have to sit back and AFK your tower and not die. And then maybe, maybe you're more useful in fights, but you, you don't get to win lane. No, Lethal Tempo is not worth it anymore. I feel bad because I uploaded the video of like back in on hit video not too long ago. Yeah, I said like Lethal Tempo was really good in it. When the video was like created, they hadn't changed their bonus attack speed. They hadn't lowered it. So that meant Lethal Tempo was decent because it would give you like 500 to 1000 more damage over going Conqueror. But then they changed the attack speed. They lowered it to 142%. So then Lethal Tempo was only like an extra 50 damage or something full combo. So Lethal Tempo is just not worth it. Dang, don't go Lethal Tempo. Like it sucks. Conqueror is same amount of damage and you have a lane phase with it. Let's queue in some matchups. Yeah, I mean, when you're going AP Assassin Cat, it's still situational. Some games you can go first strike full AP, let's queue full AP. Usually if you're versing squishy champs, like strictly squishy champs, you'd want to go let's queue or first strike. For example, I would go let's queue into like Zed or LeBlanc because Conqueror doesn't do anything for me against those champions. I won't beat them anyways. The only way to beat them is with short trades, but even then the matchup is in their uh, control. So usually I just go let's queue and try to match their short trades. Yeah, now they went ahead and nerfed your AD ratio by 15% on your dagger, and then nerfed it by 10% on your E. So now your level 2, level 3 all-in, if you start Longsword D-Blade, is even worse than it was. Like, it did not need to be changed. Like, it needed a buff, unironically. But you get out-sustained by everything. That's also the problem. Everything in the game out-sustains you. You're playing Katarina. If you're playing Katarina versus a control mage that goes uh, armor in their runes and starts corrupting pot with biscuits, you're never killing them, bro. Good luck. You're gonna all-in trade them at level 3. They're gonna do half your health. You're maybe gonna do half theirs they're gonna heal the full you're not and now your lane is over they could dc in the middle of lane for 10 seconds and they'll probably survive from your full combo i guess we'll continue trying the bork build it's just the problem is like it's a hard nerf in the early game the build path has always been awful you have to get your pickaxe first base or else it's like gg for you it feels like in lane if you're not ahead with the build then it just sucks but now the changes they made to her are still a nerf they're still nerfs until you have like three or four items even with this AD built, Bork is unchanged. But the problem is that you're doing less damage now with your daggers and your E's when you build Bork. It just seems like they have no understanding of how the character works. Building Bork has been the strongest item on Katarina since on hit effect changes. But that's only if you can get the item and then continue snowballing with it. It'll always be the highest damage item if you're able to hit the enemy team. But the problem is that it's very punishable in high elo because even when you have pickaxe and longsword, that doesn't mean you're going to kill your laner. And if you can't kill your laner, then the build sucks because it doesn't really scale. Oh my god, Katarina. I'm gonna go Bork this game. The thing is this build like isn't even that strong anymore, I don't think, compared to what it was on PvE, because they did like some Kraken nerfs. Oh wow, I mislicked my F. Oh my god! Katarina's so OP this patch, guys.
I'm on my way, guys. Oh no! Oh! I were done the last patch too. Is it time? Oh my god, cat's OP! Holy shit! Good job, Jaja Blade. He did most damage that game. That's Pog. These are our runes this game. We have second win for the Vex because she's gonna abuse us all lane. I'm gonna start D Shield as well. Oh, if I was able to grab the dagger, no, he wouldn't have died still. My E would be on cooldown right now. We wouldn't be able to commit. Oh, wow. I'm fucking worthless. I survived because of that. Wow. That's funny. That actually worked out for us. Just because of G-Shield second win, I'm so tanky. Nice. Okay, well we build Bork. We're gonna look like we do damage, but it's it's just the item. It's not our champion, okay? Like please. Right games, when I build this item and I, I end up killing the Vex in five auto attacks, do not nerf Katarina, nerf Bork, please. Let's not make the same mistake twice. Holy fuck, Katarina's so broken. I'm on my way. Okay, let's not dive. I think that's too int if we dive here. Nice. In fact, I'm just dead. Oh, what? Dude, I might have to flash here. Well, because we didn't turn. Oh, I got hit by the. I got hit by Vex, man. What? I can't go over. What? Please, anyone die, man! Can you go collector? Who would I be killing if I went collector, man? Who would I be collecting?
Like, I'd be collecting that guy, sure. But I've already collected him, like, 14 times this game. Yes, I got my upgraded Kraken Slayer. We got the Worm Fallen Sacrifice. We got Sirolda's now for uh, Armor Pan and Slow, I guess. Like, dude, if you, like, if you told me when I first started playing five years later, you were gonna go conquer with, like, Boric Kraken Slayer, Ravenous Hydra, and, like, an Armor Pen item, like, with Zerker is like, bro, I would have called you crazy. I would have called you crazy and bet my life that it would never happen, but here we are. Woo. Nice. We would have done more damage that fight if I didn't misclick level my W instead of my R. Um, because we'd have more damage on our R. I know he was there. Uh, it was either he ran there or Tribush during that fight. So I walked up to the bush and then my ult lit up. So I just hit R. If you guys don't know, uh, your ulti will light up even if you don't have vision on someone, which means they're next to you. It means they're in a bush or like if Shaco is invisible next to you and your ult hovers or your ult lights up, just hit R. Cool little tip for you guys. All right, well, we did 50k damage that game. This build is like utter trash, but it's like, I guess the best one now. I don't know. We did a lot of damage, but at times we just didn't do any damage. It's like very weird. It's very, very strange. I don't know, man.